So we're going to start today for episode 70 by talking with one of my favorite people in downtown Las Vegas, the GM over at Local Motors, uh, Gina. Thank you so much for coming out. Now, there's some pretty big things kind of going on right now. I've heard that the White House is actually having a maker fair. Tell me all about that. Well, in 2012, the White House had a science fair like they do every year, and they invited Joey Hurdy, he's a 12-year-old budding scientist, to come, and he did a marshmallow cannon. And the right. president was so enthralled with the marshmallow cannon that he decided, wouldn't it be great if we had a maker fair for the White House? So the, co the country used to be a built on manufacturing. That was our roots. We've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. He wants to bring it back. And STEM education is really important for children, science, technology, engineering, and math. So to promote that, the White House is having a maker fair on the lawn of the White House. Okay, now is Local Motors going to be able to go to the White House? I can neither deny nor uh, confirm confirm that, <laughs> but the president likes cool companies that make cool things, and we're a really cool company that makes cool things. I bet you're going to be there. That's what I think. I'm not saying you said anything. <laughs> I'm just saying I think that that could happen. Okay, so how can people get involved in the event? Okay, so if you can't go to the White House and, and be at the event, what the president is asking is that everyone makes things that day and uses the hashtag Nation of Makers. Mm, and so that. make things, post them online, have open houses. Sin Shop is going to have an open house on that night from 6 to 10 over at their offices on 4th Street. And they're going to all gather and people are going to make stuff because that's what we do. Okay, so what's that gizmo you brought in the back? That big box that's printing out these wristbands you brought we everyone? Are, we made everybody in the audience these really cool 3D printed bracelets. They're red, white, and blue in honor of the White House Maker Fair. And um, we're printing them out right now so you can see it. It's on a MakerBot and it's a 3D printing technique that can make pretty much anything you can think of. Okay, so these things cost like, what, 20 bucks each to make? <laughs> no, they're super cheap. Uh, it used to be like a dollar a pound. They've gotten it down to almost like one cent a pound now. So they're basically, you know, as cheap as uh, you can make a, something out of plastic. Okay, and then anybody can just print these at home. Yeah, you can print them at home. You can make them Very what color cool. you want. You can size them up and down. And so that's what we do. We make stuff. We made these cruiser bikes. You know, we just kind of, we're a vehicle innovation company, and but we also use 3D printing within our innovations. Yeah, so tell me about uh, what, what are these motorcycle, bikey things? that you got set up here? They're, they're cruisers, and so this one's gas-powered, and this one's electric-powered, and they're prototypes. Um, we actually kick-started them, and uh, they're now going into production, so uh, we finalized the prototypes. So you built these yeah, right out the window here? Yeah, we built them from the ground here? up okay. yeah, right down here uh, in downtown Las Vegas. Okay, and then do you want to just give everybody a quick understanding, like for those that aren't here, what Local Motors is and what you guys do? Local Motors is a vehicle innovation company. So we um, micro-manufacture, rather than mass manufacturing, we micro-manufacture for an individual location. So for uh, this area, we made a car that goes um, off-roads in the desert, but it also is street legal in all 50 states. It's called a Rally Fighter. That was built for this area. Um, we, are, we built a, a design, a car for Boston. We haven't produced it yet. It's an electric vehicle because we are now going to 3D print an electric vehicle yeah, in I Chicago. Thought that was cool. So just bring we, the big printer yeah, and print the car out yeah, and drive away. Right, cutting edge technology. Wow. So Henry, um, Henry Ford is not going to like how you change that plan on the car building. So. Well, that's the way it goes, you know. No saying, yeah, we're just going to print out our own cars, you know. Yeah, he probably would have loved it. What am I talking about? Okay, all right, well, it's hashtag Nation of Makers. Shoot Nation. that out. And, uh, yeah, I think it would be awesome to see the White House having a maker fair. So thank Great. you for telling us about that. Thank you. Okay, so I want to jump now over to Rhonda Kay. So a bunch of wasted food is what I hear, but what is harvest season and what are you guys doing at projectangelfaces.org? Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, harvest season is the coming of the Las Vegas fruit harvest. I'll say that again, Las Vegas fruit harvest. Yeah, we Las Vegas fruit. fruit harvest. It's pretty incredible how much food actually grows right yeah. here in Las Vegas. Over 25 and a half million pounds of fruit grows in local neighborhoods all over the county and goes straight to the landfill every year. Mm. And Project Angel Faces program is called Neighborhood Fruit Harvest. It's one of many 
sustainability systems programs that I've created to shift the way that we live our lives, the practice of our living habits, away from wasteful practices toward making the best use of our local resources and more sharing. And that's what Project Angel Faces is all about, the easiest way to get involved, the easiest thing we right, can yes. all do to, to accomplish sustainability is stop wasting our food. Over 40% of the food in the entire nation goes straight to the landfill yeah. in all the houses. So if we can just stop wasting that food, we'll have a lot less hungry bellies. And what Project Angel Faces does with Neighborhood Fruit Harvest is we couple with landowners, private property owners who have productive fruit trees. We harvest that fruit with a harvesting party. The property owner gets the pick of the crop. The remainder of the crop is shared with elders and youth at highest risk locally. So Touch it's that. really fun. It really lights up our, our lives a lot. Both the process of harvesting is a really nice way to get a little bit of exercise and everybody has a great time. It's yeah. a fun way to So is this also just friends. for people that have like, I mean, if you've got the apple tree in the backyard, like a Dan, like probably Dan or someone has something like that, like you just call, <laughs> call these guys up and then they'll come take it or? Yeah, you get in touch with me at Project Angel Faces. You can find us on the web at projectangelfaces.org. You can find okay. us on Facebook as well. And you just let us know that you have a heart, a fruit tree that you want to harvest. Or you let us know, I want to get involved in helping collect that harvest. I want to be one of the volunteers that comes so to, awesome. to that yeah. harvest party. That's great. Yeah. So you just saw this need and then just started, decided to tackle it as kind you of an know, entrepreneur yourself? And I did. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a different did kind you, of I guess, story. Did you work at a restaurant or something? No, I heard, I heard no. that's the worst that you no. see like food go. Okay. Well, that is one of the largest <laughs> ways that we waste food. But I saw the food waste from the tree next door to mine. They had nine productive fruit trees and no one lived in the house. Oh, and so there was gotcha. literally 15,000 pounds of food just right next door from the trees that grew right there. So the okay. thing that we need to change, the easiest way to do it is just notice the fruit that grows in your, around. Notice the fruit. If okay. it's in your yard or someone else's, and then we can start to share it. Okay, projectangelfaces.org. Everybody check that out if you know of a stranded tree making fruit. Awesome. Okay, Thank all right. You. Now I want to take it over to Rob. So you are doing very, very cool stuff. I have an it's not school fruit. I, I bought no. <laughs> or well, it's not here. Yeah. Makerbot. Makerbot's pretty cool. Yeah, the cool is a There's tough so word. Like, yeah. this, you're talking about virtual reality. It's She's all talking fake. about something that's helpful. <laughs> like virtual reality is cool though. So you have so uh, you have a virtual reality meetup that's happening. Please tell me more about this. So yeah, this is just a uh, a side thing that I said, uh, well. I work at a company uh, here in town that makes startups uh, called Originate, right. and so we've got a bunch of software engineers. Well, I drug about three of our software engineers out to Orange County to a virtual reality hackathon, and, uh, and they won. And I kind of got the bug, and I said, we're not doing anything like that out here in, um, in Las Vegas. I don't know if you've, seen, you, you've played around with the, the, the Rift, the Oculus Rift yep, a little right. bit. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I've got a buddy let me borrow it for a few days, and yeah. I've actually been playing on it all this week. So, so you know, with right. Facebook just buying them and all the fun stuff that's happening yeah. with, with virtual reality these days, uh, we just thought uh, there needs to be something happening out here in Vegas. And so a quick look at the meetup, uh, the meetup scene, there's nothing going on. So I, uh, I put that together and um, ordered a couple of the, the new dev kits, and uh, we're going to have a demo session and, and basically get everybody interested in you know, coming out and just kind of hacking on stuff. We're going to throw some hackathons. Uh, you know, this is for game designers, for developers, for anybody interested in you know education. That's another great place for you know virtual reality in the future is going to be that. Uh, if you saw Lawnmower Man back in the day and <laughs> fell in love with it, or or let's say the Wizard, whatever, whatever, you, you yeah. know, everybody likes virtual reality. So uh, we're going to get a little bit more. Uh, more fun with yeah, that especially, especially just people that haven't even put the headset on, right? Yeah, so developers it's, that just it's want to super get their cool. Feet wet. Yeah, oh, it's totally cool. So I, yeah, when I was playing with it, like they, I put on an app where it let me see the real like size of planets, like relative to each other, and yeah. but I could fly through. It was just crazy, like. And I could see my knees. I felt like it was me. I got a little yeah. wobbly on my chair and stuff. So I mean, it's an immersive experience, and I think totally. it, it is the new frontier for developers to explore. Yeah. So the 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 the, uh, the thing that the guys put together for the the hackathon was like a typing challenge game. Learn to type. It was an educational hackathon. So they they basically had a uh, you know virtual keyboard, and you'd just be you know doing your thing, and then blasting the words as you look at them, like <laughs> like out of it was like asteroids meets learn to type, and right. so they won the hackathon. It's a whole new paradigm. Yeah, for it. it was yeah. really fun. Okay, all right. So where is it? What are the details? Where can De people visit this? Details are we're going to throw our first meetup here uh, July first uh, out at the Innovation Center, 
Switch Innovation Center, and we're gonna have some free food probably, a little bit of drink. Uh, we're gonna have some demos. The guys from the Orange County uh, Hackathon or the Meetup Group, they're gonna come out, bring their riffs. You can bring your riff. Uh, we're yeah, gonna. I'm borrowing mine. Yeah, well, gotta, then I'll get those the, guys to bring it. Exactly. So we're just gonna have some demos and just kind of get everybody a little bit more, you know, acclimated toward the new stuff that's happening. Okay. So I see. Yeah. Next one, Ju Tuesday, July first, six o'clock p.m. at the Innovation Center. Just search. Yeah. Just search uh, Meetup for okay. virtual reality. We're the only thing in town. There's only like couple of dozen of people doing it so far. Okay, all right, Rob. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thanks.